Hey, it's Adam Ring here with Innovative Automation. We've got a special edition of Cool Gadgets today. This is a cool system that we've put together, and it's for monitoring downtime in a production facility. So real quick, what I've got here is a touch screen, which we're going to use to display various information about production lines throughout a plant. We have a distributed I.O. node, which will go inside of the control panel for a particular machine or production line to understand the health or the status of that particular machine. I have a, just a switch here which I'm going to use to simulate whether a machine is running or it's been stopped due to some form of downtime. And we just have a, a wireless Ethernet switch that we're going to use to show you how you can access this information remotely. So if we take a look at the touch screen a little bit closer now, You'll see I've added an indicator to the bottom of the screen which will show us the status of a particular line, whether it's running or it's stopped. And so if I press this button, we can see the status changed from running to stopped. And we can add more of these indicators depending on how many pieces of equipment you have in your plant that you would like to monitor. So in addition, if I go to a, another screen, I can actually log that data as it occurs on a alarm screen and so we can see right now I've set up an alarm that says line one down and it logs the time that the alarm occurred and it can log the time that we acknowledge the, al the alarm occurred and a priority and a particular value at the time that the alarm occurred and so as the machine stops and starts we're actually going to log that data every single time and later I'll show you how we can retrieve that log file so we can do analysis on it and determine where are critical problems in certain machines where we're having a lot of downtime. So in addition to this, I could also go to another screen where I'm able to turn on and off various alarms. So if I have a particular production line that's down and I don't want it to continuously log, I can turn that alarm off so that we don't log that to the file unnecessarily. Now, with our distributed I.O. module, what, what is beautiful about this is it's very modular. So in this particular case, I've got just an Ethernet bus coupler, so it allows us to communicate on a plant-wide Ethernet network. I've got a four-channel digital input module, so I could read the status of four different segments of a machine, whether or not they're running or not. And I've got an end module. So this system is very modular, so I can add more modules to it as I need in order to collect various information about a, a machine, a production line. And then, again, each one of your machines would have one of these located in the main control panel to collect various data about the health of that machine. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I can access this remotely from my laptop. So the first thing I do is pull up a standard web browser and I'm going to punch in the IP address for my screen. And I'm able to log in and actually go in and connect and see the exact screen of what's going on out on the plant floor. So if we see here on my computer, the status of line one running, and now if I hit my switch to simulate a little machine stopping or line going down, we can see that it updates on my laptop just like it does on the touch screen. So I can monitor remotely what's going on throughout the plant. And so now if I go back, talked about being able to access that log file. So what I can do is go into my utilities here, alarm log, and I can tell it to export that log file. And now I'll be able to bring that file into a program like Microsoft Excel and do analysis on the data. And open up that file. And it's just a basic text file.
and now we can see the alarm data that's been logged. So it gives me the alarm, the status, the time, the date, priority, and so forth. So now we can do some analysis on this data and figure out where the majority of our problems are in the plant and figure out good ways to improve the performance. So that's how we can use these cool gadgets in our system to monitor the status of downtime in a plant. So be sure and join us next time for Innovative Automation's Cool Gadgets.